Hello and welcome to The Sherlock's Show. I'm Georgie Corridge Cole and today's show is a little different. Joining me on the sofa are Lou Huff, Charlotte Collins and I'm really excited to be joined by British model and style icon Abby Clancy. Welcome ladies. Following the birth of baby number four, Abby Clancy is here to reveal yet another Lipsy collection. Just in time for the party season. Plus, later on in the show, Abby will be showing us the beauty she relies on. But first, it feels very autumnal all of a sudden. <coughs> I feel like I really <laughs> missed the dress code. We all did. You're looking very wintry, mm. very cool. Um, quite autumnal. How do you feel about autumn, Abby? I love it. I can't, it can't arrive soon enough for me. I love my black. I love tailoring. I love big coats. So, goodbye, summer. Goodbye, Summer. Yeah. Hello, Autumn. Hello, Autumn. You, these two are nodding. Yeah, yeah, yeah with you. They with are definitely you. in yeah. your camp. Yeah, I was saying earlier, I think if you're an autumn or a winter baby, then I think you associate more with autumn. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah. God, yeah. Mm, When's your birthday? January. Same. You go. Oh, so February. So yeah, interesting. There you go. There, there you go. go. Uh, so tell us, what other than the Lipsy collection, which we're going to come on to, mm -hmm. so amazing. Thank you. Um, what... Are you going to be investing in this season? Are there uh, things you always buy every winter? Are you a knitwear? Are you coats? Are you jeans? What is it that I'm you go I'm a coat for? and a boot person. Okay. I love a good pair of boots. And yeah, I'm just looking. I haven't found the coat that I want yet. But I, I've seen the, uh, these amazing tan Jimmy Choo. Oh, oh boots they I, are amazing. I really want. Those boots. Jimmy Choo, are, yeah. they are back yes, this they awesome are. winter, aren't they? With a vengeance, there are some green boots that are killer that have yeah, been around. Green Charlotte, Lou? Oh, mine's also boots. I've just, I'm waiting for the Arquette pair to arrive. So they're the, sadly the high street version of the Jimmy Choo's. Um, but yeah, a long, up to the knee, chunky heel, rounded toe, black. And um, we had them in the office last week and they're, they're not like skin tight. There's like a bit of a gap, Lovely. which, yeah, you they look Zara really cool. You know Zara do like a version? Zara yeah. do a really good version. But they've been sold out online for yeah. forever and they come in the off-white tan and green yeah. and yeah. just amazing. And actually, if you want to put the Jimmy Choo have the amazing like snakeskin version. And if you want June, have a really similar pair, don't they, that went in our Aww. edit yeah, last week. Oh, well. so, good there are some good mm -hmm. ones on the high street, but I do think if, if that trend, we've, we've talked about this a lot, but if that is the trend you want to, you kind of will see into, you know, wearing season after season or year after year, then I think you can invest. Because yeah. they're, they're going to come back around again, aren't they? Yeah, they will, yeah. they will. You just have to be prepared to know that you're going to have to put them away exactly. a few times. They are yeah. spending and you've got to look after them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I have yeah. to say, I, you know, shock horror, who have always really turned my nose up at Houndstooth, um, really on the Houndstooth. I've just bought a belted Houndstooth coat, Ooh. the Zara one. Um, and you've got one coming up. I've got one in my collection. <laughs> I'm the opposite. I love Houndstooth. Yeah, I don't know why. Love Tweed, always had a bit of thing about Houndstooth. Yeah. And this year, there's an amazing Sandro one. Just the suddenly, one is so the one's great. Yeah. Suddenly, it's really, it's, I think it's a bit bigger, maybe. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. It's more of a statement, isn't it? Yeah, mm. tweed. Yeah, it's such a good look. Um, so, who, tell us, who do you go to for style inspiration? Oh, I think Kate Moss. Is, really? Yeah, the ultimate. I love Rosie Huntington White. Oh, style. Yeah, she's mine as well. Yeah, yeah. Gibardo. <laughs> I like everything that's a bit more tailored, a bit more classic. Um, less in your face. Yeah, yeah. Always. Kate Moss, we were just saying, she is just, always. Mm. she's got it back, hasn't yeah. she? In spades, Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. Well, Rosie was the one that I was about to say. Yeah. I kind of wax lyrical about her um, all the time at the moment, but God, her Instagram. Every she, She's so good at like giving you what you want. There was yeah. another thing last weekend where she was like, oh, here's 18 of my new looks. And you're like, yes, give them to me. Like, it's just so classic and so replicable. And I think yeah. that's why it's so... Like, that's why she's so kind of, people are so obsessed with her right now. Because you're like, I can, wear, I can dress like that. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And also, she wears pieces again and again. I really like that. Mm. I, don't, you know, she's well, I think not... it's practical. Exactly. And it's, yeah. it's realistic. Yeah. You know, we can't all be having a brand new outfit on every time no. we walk yeah. out the door. And totally. I think it's, th that's a really important thing for me to have wearable pieces that you can. Yeah. Mm recycle every day exactly. and put yeah. a different jacket or a different yeah. coat. Yeah. She she which is why them. black yeah. and all the neutrals and camels and greys yeah. and you know some people say a bit boring navy but that's the beauty of those colours aren't exactly. they? You can just make There's them There's a reason them. why they're the classics. Exactly. Mm -hmm. exactly. Um, do you think your style's evolved over the years? Yeah I've got a lot uh, a lot more pyjamas now. <laughs> <laughs> now that I don't go out the house all the time. I think that's having four children. <laughs> yeah <then>. exactly <laughs> but I've got really nice pyjamas. No um no, it's, I think I've just got to be more practical. You know, I used yeah. to wear a lot of heels, you know, married to six foot seven footballer. <laughs> yeah. I used to like to feel tall, but now I've got to be on the go. I'm 
in the farm with the kids and going on walks, you know, yeah. it's, it's, okay. it's just different. So my style's definitely changed and adapted to you too? life of mother of four. Yours probably hasn't. No, not really. Um, I've, I've always been quite true to my style, actually. Um, yeah, no, I don't think so. No. no, I work quite hard to keep teenage photos of myself buried. <laughs> oh that my is where God, they will me remain. Too, Charlotte. <laughs> I made a lot of errors. Me, yeah. Yeah, I had it a, I had a, I shouldn't admit this. I had a red top which was in the Kit Kat logo which said kinky on it, which I wore <laughs> under <laughs> and everyone's amazing. laughing. Which I wore under a silver dress with Puma trainers. Wow. And my God. my girlfriend still bring it up. I'm like, you've got wow. to start somewhere, don't you? I you love know, actually I did have a skater girl phase at one point. You? Yeah. I had um when Avril Lavigne was like the height of my style icon and I had a pink Paul Frank t shirt with one of those like Oh my god. Um, no, like, it's like a seat belt. I know. Belt. Yeah. That makes me feel a lot better. Yeah, I like, even you yeah. have for me. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Um, autumn. What does autumn mean to you? I mean, before we went live, we were singing the Strictly theme tune. I mean, to me, to Charlotte, to Lou, it's all about Strictly. Mm. Abby? Mine's all about what do I do from 4 p.m. till 8 p.m. to entertain the kids when it's pitch black. <laughs> <laughs> and you, can't, you know, you can't go out. <laughs> it's just like torrential rain and... Yeah, a lot, lot of indoor activities. But to autumn, are you a stay in, sit by the fire? Do you like going out? What, what's your sort of thing to do to pass the time or to, to, for, to have fun? Oh, God. Don't um, have fun. You've got three months old. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no fun. No, um, yeah, I'm a stay at home kind of are girl you? in the winter. Are you? Cozy yeah, girl? I, yeah, cozy. I like, I like being in my house. And we've got to touch on Strictly because. <gasps> Of all the Strictly fans in the <laughs> Sherlock's office, I mean, <laughs> us three. Diehard. Yeah, mega. We are yeah. them. And the fact that you dance with Ali Ash, I mean, hello. <laughs> I was saying I've got combo. a mug. I've got a mug with Ali Ash on my picture on it. I mean, it goes beyond the realms of uh, what's Acceptable. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you had the dream partner. Did you love every minute of it? Oh, it was just the most incredible experience. It was like living in a bubble, you know. And no, none of my friends or anyone understood really. Like you didn't get it. How we were so obsessed. And you won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is mega. Bizarre. Yeah. I, did you, did you got... ever think that that would happen? No. I, you, I didn't were you even a dancer want to go... when you were younger? Did no. you want to dance? No. I, I didn't even want to go on the show. And my manager at the time just said, "Yeah, well, I was on holiday, no. but on no. the first day of rehearsal, I was hooked. Oh my god! And it was just the most fantastic experience. And what just, was the best bit of it? Why did you love it so much? I think just <coughs> listening to music, doing a new thing, a different thing, ballroom dancing, which is just incredible. Did you like the ballroom more than the Latin? Yeah, did I you? hated the Latin, being out on my own. Really? really? Hips, it was just not me yeah, at all. You're also ballroom. very leggy, and I think when you're really leggy, the Latin, you can look a bit... Yeah, you know, I think yeah, to yeah, be you that can, good yeah. and be... Uh, the Latin and be have such long legs as yes, agreed. Yeah. And you're quite statuesque. I think you just feel safer when you get dragged around the dance floor yeah, yeah, yeah. instead of dancing Actually, out on your own. We always say that the women get a slightly easier time with yeah. the ballroom yeah. than the men because you yeah, can as a contestant. It a bit more. Mm. Well, I have to tell you that it was my 13 year wedding anniversary on oh, Saturday. Oh, congratulations! Thanks. And we were going to get up to dinner, and I said to my husband, I was like, do you know what I really want to do? I want to get a takeaway and I want to sit on the sofa with the children and watch Strictly. I mean, oh, that is just yeah, that the is the perfect. Dream. That is the story of my life. We, me, and, me and Pete book the cinema like once a week and by the time 8pm comes for us to go, we're like, <laughs> should, we just, should, should off, we just yeah. go to bed? So how are you managing? I mean, four children. Can we just say that Abby's youngest child is three months old? <laughs> I mean, credit. I salute you. Oh, thank you. Um, how is life with four you done now? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> totally done. It's amazing. I, I feel really blessed and lucky. It is hard work, and we're still trying to find our flow. And you know, you get the mum guilt if you go to work or see your friends for an hour for a coffee or whatever. That that's where I'm struggling at the moment. But it's all fun and games, and I wouldn't change it. Well, you look amazing for it. Um, anyway, that is all we've got time for. But next up, I'll be back with Abby as we talk through her favourite pieces from her recent collection with Lipsy.
festive season is fast approaching, which means you need to be on the lookout for the perfect party pieces. And the Abbey Clancy Lip Seat Collection features a style for every occasion. Plus, with the mini me trend on the rise, Abby, your eldest daughter, joined you in the shoot. Um, it's all happening. It's all happening. It's all here. <laughs> There's loads to get through. Um, God, third collection with Lipsy. Yeah, third collection. I can't believe where's the time gone. And now my daughter's got her own little mini me range in there. I know. Well, look, should we start with mini me? No, we're yeah. not start with mini me. I'm getting in trouble. I'm breaking, breaking the order. <laughs> and we're going to start with what you're wearing. Okay. I mean, you look incredible. Thank this you. This is a two piece. This is a two piece with a little cami underneath. I just, for me, no collection is complete without a tux. I, I just, it's my go-to. Yeah. If you've got a meeting or you're going for lunch or... It's never wrong. Never it's wrong. never wrong. And that cami, I don't know if we can see it. This is the close-up <laughs> here. It's just perfect. It comes gorgeous. in green as well. Huh? It comes in green as well. Does it? It does, yes. We're going to start off with this. I mean, this is... Oh. I, I told you, how many am I going to drop on the floor? We're going to start off with this. Um, dog tooth jacket. Um, this is sixty-eight pounds. I mean, this is Balmain meet Chanel is just perfection. Yeah, isn't it's it? a little nod to that. I think you know, it's a real key trend at the moment, and it's just great to throw in over jeans, your leather leggings, a little dress. Love it. Wardrobe staple. Love it. Love it. Okay, next we have got this jacquard dress. There are lots of amazing dresses. I mean, this. Is yeah, this is really cool. This is a little bit. Um, Vintage inspired. It's gorgeous. Ozzy Clark style -y. Yeah, it's kind of got a bit of Studio 54 yeah. or something about it. And I think it's, it's black really cool. again, but we're playing with textures here. With, it's know, kind of a little bit sheer as well, so you're saying a little bit of something. Yeah. But it looks like it's got a little slip underneath, so it's not, you're not going to see too much as well. Yeah. I think really nice for a wedding. Yeah, it's really cool. nice for a wedding. That is £60. Again, it's really, really well priced. How involved are you with the design? That's so, what I want to know. I'm really involved. For me, it's important to love the collection, not just put my name to something yeah. that I'm not passionate about and what I wouldn't wear. What's yeah. that? I don't see the point in that. So yeah. It feels very you. Uh, this is really cool, isn't yeah, it? Love a body. I love lace. I love a body. Yeah. Easy. Okay. And this one is, what, £42? I love that. With sort of high-waisted, really tight. I just think really sexy. Yeah, love nice. it. And nice under your blazer as well. Yeah, right now. Nice under the tux. Okay. Pretty, pretty. Yeah. Really ageless, this, don't you think? Yeah, I just think this, this, my mum would wear this, my younger sister would wear this, or the little leather mini or whatever, you know, it's, this is something for everyone, and yeah. it's just an easy piece to wear. Definitely. Yeah, I think it is. Really nice neck. Yeah. Really, I can see my mum in that too. Very nice. Okay, next. This is a bestseller, isn't it? Yeah. So tell us about this. This is a piece that I've carried through all my collections. It's mm -hmm. just the bestseller. The Lipsy Girl loves it. I love it. Wardrobe staple. And it feels so good, that jacket. Good, yeah, it? it's really yeah, good. Yeah, it's really it's nice. £55. And that's such I just a don't think shape. you can go wrong with that. It's cheaper than like a Zara or... Yeah. yeah. And, and it, feel, it feels good. It really doesn't feel horribly faux. The is hardest. it a little bit cropped? Yeah. It's yeah, the perfect shape, isn't really it? Yeah. Nice. yeah, it's cool. I quite like this over a really dressy dress or just with jeans and yeah. t-shirt. Cool. Mm. And the hardware is really nice yeah, as well, it's really isn't nice. it? Okay, I know this is one of your favourites. I mean, you have got the most absolute killer legs ever. <laughs> um, but talk us through your croc mini. I, know, I just I just love a little mini, knee-high boots, big knits in yeah. the winter. So for me, this is a, you know, a must, a little... I like oh, I like that you said big knit. I mean, it's all about balance, yeah, isn't it? Of and course. actually, with something skimpy. So I wouldn't put that with something skinny and tight, yeah. and you know, showing a lot of flesh. I'd put that with something a bit more casual, big coat over it. That's yeah. also such a good shape because if you've got a waist, there's nothing worse than a straight up and down mini because yeah. you can't. Mm. It doesn't cinch, but that's the perfect a line. Yeah, it's, quite, it's slightly a line. Yeah. It's cool. Okay, next. Right, these are a favourite. There were lots of oohs and ahs over these. Okay. These are the real deal. Real deal. This is your investment piece here. It's a little bit more of a steeper price point, but you're going to have these forever. They feel amazing. Yeah, they're gorgeous. They're £150. Yeah. They're real leather. Mm -hmm. I oh, mean, big thumbs up, weren't you they? We were wrong. all looking at these before we went live. And, you know, quite a lot of leather on the high street. You'll just get leather at the front and not yep. leather at the back. Here you get and both. And high end, you're looking 
a thousand yeah. pounds. Yeah. I was going to say 150 yeah. pounds for real leather trousers isn't bad no. at all. And I think the zips are just really, really cool, mm. really modern, very kind of Kate Moss. They're just a really good fit. They're quite, they quite sit quite high, cool really happen. flattering, and and they're quite thick. Yeah. Because sometimes you do feel like, oh, my bum's out, everything's out. <laughs> those are amazing. 150 quid. Get your hands on those people. Okay, we're going on to something quite sexy here. Mm -hmm. Bit of a, bit of a, you know, bit of a showstopper in that I, one, right? I just right? think it's the Bardo bandage it's dress. It's the Bardo, one of my style icons, bandeau dress. And I just think, you know, when you're stuck for something to wear and you're like, oh, you don't know what the dress code's going to be. I don't think you can go wrong in a black midi. And these, midi? Whole, these do, do you actually have a pencil. I'd say it's, I'd say it's quite pencil. But yeah. I mean, it's 70 quid. They actually hold you in better than you think as well, yeah. wouldn't they? So this is good for a meal after you. <laughs> <laughs> like the lines on that as well will give you a really elegant Shape. silhouette as well. Yeah. Yes, kind of yes. Quite flattering. Flattering, that one. Great with the shoes you're wearing today, actually. If that one is a little bit, um, you know, revealing for you, then cue this bad boy. Mm. What a stunner. <laughs> you must be proud of this one. Yeah, this is the glitzy. This could be your New Year's Eve party dress. Definitely. Yeah. You don't need a coat because you've got your sleeve in it, and you've got a nice thigh split. It just, this one looks a lot better on. Does it? Yeah, it just, you feel great when you yeah. put it on. It, yeah. I just don't think it's just doing it much just justice off the handle, to be okay. honest. Can we talk about the fact that it's 65 pounds? I know. I mean, Amazing, great, great dress. Okay, we're gonna fit. Well, we haven't come onto the mini yet, but I know this is this is your fave. This one here. Yeah. Look at that. We were talking about hounds teeth earlier, mm. weren't we? Um, this one is. Don't know. Can't find it. Ninety-five pounds. Eighty-five pounds. Anyway, it's pretty reasonable. <laughs> um, but we love it. It's so now, isn't it? Yeah, I think. I just love my coats, and I've got so many coats and I just really love this um, hounds too so it's really now as you say and can go over everything. That's it and I love the camel detail I haven't seen mm -hmm. that before. It's a little bit softer I guess than like having a white undertone which makes it a bit bolder it feels yeah. a little bit mm. more natural. I think it's really chic I think it's really timeless I think over the shoulders really nice yeah. just over the shoulders and what you've got on now. Gorgeous okay we've got to finish off with a look at the Mini Me collection, which you have to see the pictures. They're so cute. Of Abby modelling it with her eldest daughter. She yeah. looked, She gave me a run for my money. Oh on the my shoot. god! Like, oh, look oh, out! I, like, I know. Oh my god! I mean, she looked incredible. I thought there she was going to be shy, but she she loved it. There are some really sweet, sweet pieces. I mean, look at this little sort of Chanel inspired number. I, I want so that. Cute. I'd wear that. Yeah. I know. Black that kind of neck, black tights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's, what's the largest age? <laughs> I think it's age. age 14. Oh, great. <laughs> I mean, with a pair of little ballet shoes, know, Christmas so Day, yeah. with, I think with a little collar underneath, that is just heaven. I think little girls like to, well, I know I don't know what your little girls are like, but mine love to dress up and are oh. really girly, so yeah. this is just the perfect collaboration yeah. for us. Yeah, and we've got sweet little skirts. I think this is sweet. This is Sophia when she's in rock chick mode. Is it? Yeah, okay. little glittery. Love that. Denim. But just with a cardi and a pair of tights, yeah, I think that's cute. really nice. And a pair of trainers. There are some really sweet children's trainers, aren't there? The trainers are amazing. There's pink satin ones with velvety ribbons. And while and you're so here, I'm going to make you take off a shoe because we can't see feet. No, you can't. Can you lift up a foot? Can you see her foot? <laughs> Good because like, wow, these impressive. are Lipsy shoes. They look so expensive. They're amazing. <laughs> that's all that ballroom it's, training. It's yeah. mum of four. I've got, I've got no pedicure, anyway, no manicure. I'm just the like, The shoes ah! are great. The shoes are great. Anyway, what else have we got in the, I mean, look, party, this party, is party. Favorite. Is this is her favourite. Yeah. I mean, my daughter would die for mm. that. I mean, look at those. But you can keep that. You can take that for her. Sort of bridesmaidy, almost, oh, yeah, isn't it? Is, it? Yeah. Um, and then there are some amazing. There's a little, little leather jacket. Um, this and is just a complete some, replica of the mummy one. So. Is it? Yeah. So cute. You twinning. Can properly yeah. twin. Properly can twin. Properly twin. Yeah. And then some really. I mean, this is just. We were saying miracle on fifty. Thirty-four. 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 <laughs> Studio 54, <laughs> whatever it is, and some sweet little coats. Yeah. Anyway, amazing. Gorgeous. Congratulations. Thank you so what much. What a really stunning, stunning collection. And those leather trousers. Yeah. Leather trousers and that jacket. That's what I've got my eye on. Anyway, anyway, um, as usual, everything will be linked in the show notes below. Next, Abby will be here sharing her tips on how she achieves her effortless 
makeup look and the products she can't live without. Hi, I'm Lou Huff. I'm Head of Fashion and Creative at Sheer Lux, and today I'm going to talk you through some of my favourite and key pieces within my wardrobe. Number one would be a very classic boyfriend shirt. When I'm getting ready, I want to wear pieces that make me feel good. They enhance my style, they don't take over my look. I couldn't talk about my wardrobe favourites without talking about this. So any opportunity I have to really dress up, I would wear this. The absolute basic essential to my wardrobe would be denim. I counted, I've got 25 pairs. This, just with t-shirt and jeans, pair of boots, my bag. Good to go. Like the rest of my style, I tend to keep my accessories quite minimal. Um, but if I was going for a jazzy accessory, I've got this hair clip, which is probably so on me, but um, I just think it adds a little something to a look. On days when you've got nothing to wear and you want to wear, wear something pretty boring, these are my go to. As a model and TV presenter, I can imagine, Abby, that you've picked up your fair share of beauty tips during your career, which is why we had to ask you to share them with us today. Now, when you haven't got a makeup artist doing your makeup for you, oh. I know, sadly. They're, the, they're the sad days. Oh, they're the yeah, sad days. No, I wish I could have it every single day. Oh, wouldn't it be nice? The reality is, four kids, you've got wouldn't five minutes nice? to get ready. Hair and makeup. So anyway, you brought oh. in a few of your absolute essentials yeah. to share yeah. with us today. I am literally on tenterhooks. Um, let's start off with this. So this is the Estee Lauder. It's called the Smoother. Mm. It's a primer. It's a primer. It covers all your pores, all your blemishes. And it's just a really, really good base after your skincare routine to put Ooh, on your foundation. It's sort of jelly-like. It's a lovely velvety. Can we see that? Which camera am I? Right, right, I'm over here, I'm over here. Um, sorry, velvety. Velvety texture and it just, it's like a blairer. It just fills in the up, lines. Fills in the cracks and the gaps. <laughs> oh, it feels amazing, feels really lovely. velvety. Mm. Okay, so that goes on. So you do your skincare. Skincare, then this. Then this. And then... Oh, I'm sold, I'm sold, I'm sold, I'm sold. That feels so good. It. Honestly, it's really good. And okay. then I'm more of a powder foundation, okay. a mineral powder. Okay. I've really gone off over the years, gone off uh, like a wet foundation. I feel like as you get older... Yeah, they're a bit more aging. Yeah. Yeah, do I think, you think? Yeah, I think I need... Well, not I need. I, I prefer less coverage. Okay. Um, so we've got here, face. we've got here bare minerals. Everyone loves bare mm. minerals. I love um, it. So you apply this, and this just goes straight on top, does it? Yeah, straight on top. Buff it in. You can layer it up to get the coverage you desire. Okay, I'm going to try not to make a horrible mess here, but just so everyone oh, I can see. You're obviously using a brush when you're doing a this. A brush, yes. Um, nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Really nice. Okay. Need to get in on a bit of that action. Okay, so we've done primer, we've done Mineral. bare minerals. So I use the mineral over my whole face, yep. and then with my dark circles, which I've got a severe case of you them have at not. the moment. You have not, <laughs> although you would be entitled to them with oh, four children and a three no, month zero old. Zero sleep. Um, talk us through this. This is the By Terry, what's it called? Touche Velute yeah. um, Highlighting Concealer Brush. So this has got the applicator brush already in there. Can I just say how much I love the thickness of this brush? Oh, I know. There's another brand who, which I won't mention now with a thin oh, yeah. brush. But that's just about my bag size. Yeah, I know. So it's for... That's <laughs> it, that's it. So I love that. Can we have a, can we have a try? Mm. Um, and this comes presumably in a Loads variety of, of colours. And we... Oh, I love it, love it, love it. And it's actually got a real nice highlighter pigment in there so okay. it reflects the light so okay it just makes you look brighter and less tired so that's going where under your eyes corners of your nose chin that's mainly sort of thing. under my eyes with this mainly one. under your eyes okay lovely yeah it's gorgeous my terry's great isn't it so gorgeous the the applicators the brushes like this brush i yeah. absolutely love when I do go out to evenings and put a heavier foundation on, this is the brush I love to use. It just buffs in the foundation. Talk to me about this brush. I was so excited when you got this out of the... I was like, I haven't seen this brush it's before. It's so soft. It's um, lovely. So you, if you're using a liquid foundation, you're buffing it in, I'll are you, with that? I'll buff this into the skin, yeah. Okay. So you can really work it into the skin, so less cakey. 
Okay, um, okay. I love that. Have. That is a must have. Love it. Yes. Look, look. Can everyone see that? It's so cute. How fun. Anyway, they are good. They're so clever. Okay, so that's the Viteri brush. So we primed, we bare mineral, we've covered the circles, and now what are we doing? So I, I tend to go for a paler foundation in okay. the mineral. Okay. And depending on where you are, where you're going. So you've chosen the Estee Lauder bronze goddess. Bronze goddess. This um, is my go-to bronzer for years. Like, is it? Yeah, it's just a gorgeous um, tone. There's not a lot of orange in it, which I like. And yes. I just warm up my face with this. Okay, lovely. Yeah, that's very nice. I mm. hope hopefully everyone can see that. Can you see that? I'm showing, yep. Okay, this is a pretty simple routine. Okay, so now we've got a bit of color on your cheeks. What comes next, lips? A bit of lip balm by Terry again. I'm, you know, once I find a product I love, I just stick to it, stick yeah. to them. And any shade in this by Terry lip balm is amazing. Rose, um, there's a gorgeous red tingy, tingy one, which is... Ooh. Yeah, this is quite summery, this one. Pretty, though. Pretty. Really pretty. And do you find they stay on quite well? Yeah. But I just love, I, love, I like to have them in my car, in my handbag, yeah. in the baby bag. Lip balm on. Yeah, if you're anything like me, you lose them the entire oh, yeah. time. I get so cross when I come back from a night out and like, there goes another lip balm. I know, I know. It's so it's annoying. annoying. It's annoying. Okay, let's finish with eyes. So we've got an Essay Lauder mascara. Yeah. And we've got some Eyelier lashes. Yeah. What comes first? So, day to day, just mascara. If okay. I'm go going out at night or going somewhere special, I'll put on a lash just to make me feel a little bit more glammed up and a little bit more done. Okay, so talk to us about this. This is the Sumptuous Knockout mm -hmm. Estee Lauder. Have you tried this before? No, but I do like these wands. I find them much better for building. Yeah, they're amazing. So they're like the, the plasticky ones. The plasticky, what do you call them? Fibery? I don't know. Anyway, um, they're good, these wands. You can really keep, keep, you get in keep there building. And it doesn't like, it doesn't go clunky. Yeah. It kind of gets anyway, on the lumps and So that's a hit. And the lashes, do you put these on yourself? Yeah, I try to. Do you? Yeah. And are these individuals? No, that's no, the that whole shrine. Yeah, but I normally cut it in half and just put it on the ends to get like a, like a catty look. Because um, I used to get individual lashes, like the semi-permanent ones, and they just destroy your eyelashes. Yeah. Also, lying there for an hour and a half, oh, having them down is such a pain, it's isn't such it? Such a pain. They, are, anyway. they do look good, but... So these are the ones? This is just a, a more low-maintenance, low-budget. Way of doing it. Any tips of putting these on? Yeah, I, I, I cut mine in half, just put them on the ends, but I let the glue dry a little bit, yes. so it's a bit more tacky. That's it. That's the that's top tip. That is the top <laughs> tip. You're not the first person who said that. Amazing. I need to give them another go. Give them a go. There's nothing like a full slash to really feel like you're ready to go. Especially for it? party season coming I up. I know. It's, um, you need them. All those lipsy dresses. You need your, you need you your need full lashes. Lash. You need a good lash. Um, well, thank you Thanks for having so me. much. You're looking fabulous. Four mm. children, a three-month-old. My God, I need all of this if, if, that's, <laughs> if that's what it's going to do to me. Um, that is it for today. Thank you so much, Abby, for coming in and sharing your wonderful collaboration with us, um, as well as all your beauty hacks. We will be back next week with lots of great fashion plus a health special. Until then, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, comment, and tell your friends. Bye-bye.